I just, I feel like I just assumed she would come back and luckily that's what happened. Um, I don't, I think there's some things I understood and other things I didn't. And fortunately it, the outcome was, was good. Do you have any advice, again, given the fact there's no manual on how to live through this, do you have advice for Autumn Gonzalez and the other Gonzalez kids? You know, I, the process is going to be unique to each of them. And I'm not going to pretend that like I have all the answers because I definitely don't. I'm still trying to figure out my own process of on moving forward. But I think time is a big is a big thing, you know, as time moves on, things get better. And, um, you know, you learn how to cope, you learn how to deal with people, you learn how to deal with situations. And I mean, I think finding your own identity and what makes you you, I mean, I struggled with the label of being the younger sister, right? And so I'm constantly trying to prove that I'm more than a little sister, that I have a lot more to offer. So it's not going to be an easy process, at least for me, it's not. But depending on her needs and time, I think things can get better. Yeah. They won't ever be the same, but they can, they can be better. And in terms of helping others, uh, you know, our audience should also know that you are a teacher. You've become a teacher um, in your adult life now. And uh, so you're clearly helping a lot of, a lot of kids and, you know, in special education too, which is, I say, heroes don't all wear capes and you're, you're one of them. Ed, you know, listening to Mary Catherine, um, I hope you're so proud of the children that you have raised. They're, they're miracles. They're, they're wonderful kids. And you have done this against the most unbearable obstacles that this world has to offer. I'm sure that you probably got your own advice on what to offer the families of all the Idaho victims who are coping with this, the family members of these four kids. Well, you know, things will never be the same. I've, I've heard uh, and read that, you know, they're, they're trying to think that, you know, she will never be there to ask for advice. And these, these things that are really hard and incredibly emotional, and I think the, the big thing is that, yes, that will never be the same. And in time, there will be the, quote, new normal. And I think that's something that uh, we have a hard time thinking that there is ever going to be a time I'm going to be happy again or that I'm not going to have this great weight on my mind. And you know, missing your loved ones is something that's unbearable. And so I know that that's going to definitely take some time. I think that uh, as time goes by, they'll be able to um, reconnect with life and, and find how to cope. I, I think each of us have such a, a different way of coping with um, situations that we fall into. And that's... Uh, it's, it's hard, but there is life after. Mary Catherine, um, your dad just mentioned the new normal. And I know that when you and I spoke before the program, I think you said to me, I'm still learning my new normal and I'm still adapting. And you're 30 and you were nine. Tell me a little bit about who you are um, and not as Elizabeth Smart's sister, as Mary Catherine Smart. <laughs> uh well i'm a private person so i'm not going to share too much but you know i've tried to find the things that i enjoy such as teaching i love working with kids and i love behavior i've been working on well i recently got my master's in applied behavior analysis and so i'm i'm just working towards becoming a licensed bcba and just trying to fully immerse myself in that and just trying to enjoy life. Well, I, for one, am, I'm delighted to, to finally have this opportunity to, to talk to you. I think you've been, um, 
you've been a critical part of your sister being discovered. Um, again, you, you might not think you're a hero, but I think the rest of us do. You were a silent hero um, and not Elizabeth Smart's little sister. You, you might have been Elizabeth Smart's savior. So thank you for doing what you did. Thank you for doing what you do. And Ed, as always, I just love having conversations with you and there's just never enough of them. So let's meet again, I hope. Thanks, Ashley. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.